we right. have given uh, you know a 15 percent uh, target um, exit ROE at the end of 2026 you know as a as a uh, as a guideline and obviously there may be upside on that um, I think we are not being cautious I think we're being very practical I've also said all along that UBS is a global bank it is a wealth manager primarily and it's very important on March the 19th that we restricted the amount of our capital that we would put at risk in the investment bank and took it down even from where it was. So if we look at where our goals are, we look at people like Morgan Stanley, who gave their earnings yesterday and reaffirmed their own ROTE targets at 20%. So I think that there's plenty of room for UBS to perform and perform well. But rather than over-promising, let's integrate the two operations, then let's get a proper pro forma business and then by 2026, we'll have proven the case. And I think then there is significant upside for UBS. I think Credit Suisse had four different businesses. So you have to specify where the issues were. And I've been very public about the issues at Credit Suisse were in the investment bank, uh, by and large. Um, that's where we had the cultural issues. That's where the losses had been made. That's where um, I felt there had been bad behavior. Um, what we've now got with the integration is um, Credit Suisse people who come into more, uh, UBS feel very comfortable with UBS. It, it is a one-firm firm. I think Sergio has done a good job of welcoming people. I was pretty outspoken at the time about the cultural risks, and I do believe that culture is a defining challenge for any institution. But on the whole, we've been pleasantly surprised by what we've got. The Swiss bank is very similar to UBS, so that's kind of plug and play from a cultural point of view. The asset management division wasn't really big enough to make a difference, and the wealth management business, bar certain areas, has just been added on. As you know, we did downsize the investment bank, and indeed, in fairness to Axel and Uli, they've been trying to downsize the investment bank at Credit Suisse anyway. So to a large extent, a lot of bad actors had gone, uh, and the people we've brought in on the whole have actually, you know, it's worked quite well. We've been quite surprised. When I brought Sergio back, the board brought Sergio back, uh, one, I gave him two conditions. One is I needed him to be here for a certain amount of time to get through the integration. And secondly, I said, you have to get us a bench, a succession bench, right, uh, which we're working on. And it takes us some time to work out what that bench is. And once you've identified that bench, then you don't just anoint that person. You've got to make sure that that person, male or female, has sufficient experience and breadth to be able to slot into that role. So, you know, uh, we will be open about it, but certainly uh, people in banking have a habit of saying if somebody's thinking about succession, then their chapter's over. Uh, Sergio's chapter is not over. So, um, you know, we really expect him to be around for a while yet.